Okay, so um, in this lesson, we can create um, some more models and we'll look at um, slightly more complex um, relationships. All right, so if we start with um, the visitor model, so we'll generate a new visitor. Uh, it has full name, is a string, and email is also a string. And that's what it has, so we'll click on enter. Okay, so let's go on to the next one. We have messages, so Rails generate model message. It has um content, it's text. What else does it have? Okay, it belongs to a visitor, so every message has to belong to a visitor. So that's that is done. And we have tags. So that's the last simple one, Rails generate model tag. Um, this is fine, but I'm just going to write it properly. So tags have name, okay, and that's it. Tag does not belong to anything. All right, so now that we've done this, we could just say Rails uh, rake db migrate. and that will create the tables that we need. We know, we trust it's done that. So now, um, looking at posts. So a post has uh, many tags. Okay, so what's this about then? So let's look here. A moderator has many posts, but each post belongs to a moderator. So one post cannot belong to many moderators. So the same here. A post has many comments, all right, but each of the comments belong to just one post. So the belongs to side of it is quite important. So it belongs to just one post. All right, but if we um, look at the relationship with um, with this with a visitor, for example, a notif notifications table, it's slightly different. So we are trying to to limit this here. So go back to the post. So post has many tags. And but each tag uh, can belong to many posts, so the same tag can be owned by multiple posts. So that's slightly different. So when we have a situation like that, we basically need to have a middle table like this post tags. So it's referred to as has many through. So a post has many tags through post tags. So it's slightly complex, but you will understand it as you go ahead and make your own table in the future. All right, so let's see how to do that. So we say Rails, uh, generate a model, and we're going to create a model post tag. So it has two references. So it references post and it references uh, tag. Okay, so that's how um, we deal with a situation where uh, one then owns many and that same many is owned by many. So has many through, okay? Um, if we have a quick look at an example from um, Rails guide, Let's scroll down. Um, so we have different relationships here. We have has many through. So this is a, a typical example. So we see here that a physician has appointment with many patients, okay? And each of the patients can um, also be booked with the same physician. So that physician is not unique to the patients. So when you have a situation like this, then you need uh, a has many through table, like appointments table here, which says basically a physician has many um, appointments um, for a patient and many patients belong to that same physician. All right, so the, the last one is the notifications. So what's up with a notifiable type, notifi uh, notifiable ID? Now this is a different scenario. Um, here we have comments and here we have posts. So um, the comment belongs to that post. But we have post ID and we have visitor ID. So that same comment belongs to both visitor and post. 
Right, but what if we want it to belong to either post or visitor? We don't want it to belong to both of them. Now, that's where a different relationship comes in. It's called polymorphic relationship. So here we have our notifications table. We want to be able to save a visitor a notification to say a new visitor has been created. But we also want to be able to save in this same table that a new comment has just been created. So here we have two things, notifiable ID and type. And the reason is that we have two different tables being saved in here. So ID is not unique enough. Imagine comments table has ID from 1 to 10. Vistas table might have ID from 1 to 10. So if, we, if I said ID 5, who am I referring to? So that's why we need notifiable type. Okay, so it's not the same in this scenario where post belongs to moderator and here where comment belongs to both post and visitor is unique because we're saying that each row belongs to either comment or moderator. Again, let's have a look at the Rails guide um, example. On the right side, there will be a polymorphic relationship. Um, click here, okay? All right, so it says there's a slightly more advanced twist on associations, but it's really good for you to learn this now. So I thought I'd find an example where we can use it. Right, um, so if I say Rails generate model uh, notification, so it's slightly different the way we generate it. So we need to say uh, notifiable is the name of the field that we want. Uh, we say reference. Uh, references and now we say um, polymorphic okay inside our curly brackets so polymorphic polymorphic is p-o-l-y okay and rails will do the rest of the job for us um, create an id and type so that's what we do so we put index there and then you hit the enter button and rails will go ahead and generate that model for us. And if we have a look at this model, it's slightly different from the rest that we've done. We see it says T references notifiable, uh, polymorphic is true. So when we generate the table uh, for this um, migration, Rails will do some special things with it. So reg db migrate. So it's created the uh, post tags and notifications. So we'll come over here, we can uh, refresh our schema. I'm looking for notifications. I don't think it's, it's not here. So just close this and reopen it again. And there we go. We have um, notifications. I'll fiddle around with this and expand it the width and expand expand the height. So you see we have notifiable ID and notifiable type has been put in there for us. So polymorphic is really just there for when you want to save in the same table uh, situations where you have or. So this is an example that Rails has an employee um, has pictures, product have pictures. You want to save this in one table. How do you differentiate employees picture from the product picture? since the IDs are not enough. So that's what you do here. Imageable type will be either product or employee and imageable ID will be either the product ID or the employee ID. But again, we are going to um, talk about this a bit more in the future, okay? So we have has many through, we have polymorphic and we have has many and belongs to and so on. All right, so this is where this lesson ends. In the next uh, lesson, we are going to create the relationships in our models. So I'll see you in the next lesson.